Ty is my ex and we have a four-year-old daughter together. Ty is making my life miserable. Won't let me allow me to see my daughter, um, be a father to my daughter. Corey have called the police CPS on me every three to six months. He accused me of pimping my three-year-old daughter. He accused me of prostituting in front of my daughter. He accused me of doing drugs in front of my daughter. Then he accused me of kidnapping her. And I sure did. I kidnapped her right back out of his hands, snatched her back because he ain't seen her in three to six months. And my baby was wanting me. So yes, I did snatch her back. When it comes to Ty, she just be making up stuff. Ty has accused me of offering to pimp out my daughter. Ty has also accused me that, that I have sex in front of my daughter. She accused me of being a child molester. Ty said I pimped her out when she was a teenager. When I first met Corey, I was 18. When he first got out of prison, he had told me he was getting out from pimping and pandering. The next few days, he came and got me. And after that, I've been his prostitute. It's been days where I didn't want to go. He didn't care. So I got up, I did it, but the day that he made me try to prostitute when I was pregnant. I took the bus and I went home. Ty says that I seen pictures of my daughter on a prostitution site and said I called the cops. He accused me of letting me post her on prostitution sites. Accusing me of calling CPS, the cops. He accused me of leaving my daughter around pedophiles and felons. I abandoned her, abused her, whoop her. He accused me on my daughter's second birthday that me and my family jumped him at Chuck E. Cheese. Like, who does that? These accusations really is just coming from someone that's bitter, young woman that's bitter. I think she's making up these accusations to hurt me, you know? I got pregnant, and we tried to do the little family thing, but he just didn't want to grow up. I don't think she's a mom yet. I don't think she don't understand what being a mother is. And she also says I'm an absentee father, deadbeat. Corey's an absent dad. He just chews when he wants to be a father. Corey don't even know his daughter's age. He thinks she's four and she's really three. Know how to speak Spanish. She goes to school. She loves to swim. She just a mommy's girl. Like, I don't feel like our child is safe with him because the lifestyle that he chews to do living out of cars, living out of hotels. I love my daughter all my heart. So I wouldn't never put her in no type of situations like that. I would never harm her. I tell Corey all the time, like, I want you to be a father. I don't want to take that father right. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a man. I can't show her how a man is supposed to love her. I'm more upset because, like, I'm not here to make him look bad. But it seems like he's always here to make me look bad. I know Taisha puts my daughters in dangerous situations. I done seen it. If Ty fails about her posting and pimping out my daughter, I want full custody of my daughter. And I don't want her to ever see my daughter again. Steve, he's lying. Um, he wants me to look like the bad person when he's really the bad person. He's, he's a bad person. He's a bad person. Um, now, What's this about you allegedly putting your three-year-old, your three-year-old's picture on a prostitution site? He accused me of doing it, but I would never, Steve. Um, I'd rather sell my ass than sell my daughter's ass. I would never post her. I would never put her in harm. Like, so for him to say that is kind of like, you're sick. The police showed up at your door about this? <laughs> yeah, two cops came. They talked to me and my family, and they were saying that Corey accused me of posting my daughter. And did anything come of this when the police visited? No, they just wanted to see her. They wanted to make sure she, she was wasn't okay. abused or wasn't in and they harm determined way. she wasn't? No, because when she came, she was smiling. She was happy. She was jumping, just being a kid. Are you aware of someone else doing this? No. No. Why do you think Corey called the police on you? Because I feel like he wants me back, but... You don't want him back. Do you prostitute in front of your daughter? Hell no. No, I would never. Um, what I do on my free time is what I do on my free time. When I'm being a mom, that's when I'm being a mom. 
Did Corey offer to pimp out your daughter? What he said was if our daughter chose to be a prostitute, that he would okay. be the pimp. And you want this guy involved in your daughter's life? Um, I would say build the wall right now. <laughs> because Corey pimped you out when you were a teenager, right? On my 18th birthday. 18th birthday. I was lost at a point in time. Yeah. And I honestly didn't think my family loved me. Yeah. So I, I did go to an older guy for that closure, but then it got hard with him. So. You mean him as in Corey? Yeah. Yeah. It got hard. Yeah. So he, he you, you meet him, he comes out of prison for doing basically what he did with you. Yeah. And, um, and you were vulnerable and you did what he asked you to do. I loved him. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was freshly 18. Um, that was my little first boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I honestly loved him, so yeah. He wanted to prostitute you while you were pregnant with your daughter. Yeah. And that's when you said, I'm out. That's when I was like, you know what? Find someone else to do it. <laughs> and you got on a bus and you I got on the home. bus, took two buses home. Yeah. I'm just curious, when is the last time you, you took money for sex? Saturday. Just past Saturday? And it, 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 listen, is that what you do to provide for you and no, your daughter? No, I have multiple jobs. Okay. So this is uh, what for you? Um, if I see somebody peeking, they got the right money, I'm going to do it. You're lying. Yeah. 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 You're like sitting here Ty, lying. No. Why are you lying? Lying about you what? You know I care about my daughter. You don't. When, when put three, in no six bad months, situation? a year, no, which nothing. one? Which because one is it? Because you took her from me. I you took her allow, from you? You're you willing not to allow come her to the Steve Wilco good... show, but you're not willing to come to court. Huh? How does that make you look? How does that make you look? Ta, we came to it... court three times, and you came, you never came now one time. Taisha, you never went to court. I did it? Every time I have oh my daughter, my you tried to it's so have crazy people follow me, TV try to jump me, shoot at me, rob you me, do dumb stuff while I have why your daughter in my that? possession. Why would I do that? Well, why wouldn't you let your daughter have a relationship with her father? Because you're a monster. Then, okay, well. That's why. Well, today is going to prove that if maybe, I'm a monster Maybe, maybe if not. you get some cool points from Steve on how to be a father, I'll let you come see her. I don't need to have you any do. cool points you for do. anybody. You do. <laughs> no, I you don't. You really do. You're sick no. in the head, yeah. Tell you shit. My daughter not safe with you and your family, whoever you have hey, over there. But guess what? And how my many times needs CPS to be with let me. her stay with me? How many times? My daughter needs to be okay. with me. Did you call the police on her and report that she was pimping out her daughter? I have no knowledge of that, never. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you never called the police on her? For what? For anything. I have called the police when I had my daughter in my possession. Oh when I did not want to give my daughter back. Oh my when God. I found out my daughter had, oh had, my God. had sexual things that I, I didn't like, so I called TPS you and called the police. Oh, and, so you did. She, so on, you did. Hold, hold on, let him, okay, let but you did it though. Hold my on. daughter. But you did it. What though. happened? When what, I picked why did you call up, the police? When I picked up my daughter from her. My daughter had no socks on, no shoes on, and she had discharge in her underwear. Um, so what I had to do is call CPS Steve, and call the police. Did you take your daughter to, to the doctor? Correct. Doctor. Yes, I did. It's documented. So where is the doctor reporting? Well, he wasn't there. Where is the doctor it's documented. Report at? I'm gonna... Uh, you're it's lying. documented. You're goofy. When you took her to the doctor, what did the doctor say about the discharge? The doctor told me this. They said, because she is two years old, it's not... She said... I don't think you want to put her through that trauma because it's too, because you have to do a whole type of kit. And as a father, I had to make the decision. And well, like, you if know you what? say that you suspect the daughter being uh, sexually uh, assaulted or molested, they have a legal obligation to do it. And we asked you, did you claim that Ty prostituted your daughter? You answered no. Did you claim that Ty took pictures of your daughter and posted them on an escort site? You answered no. Did you ever say that Ty prostitutes in front of your daughter? You answered no. Did you ever say that Ty does drugs in front of your daughter? You answered no. Um, to that first part of the test, all the results came back the same, and they came back that Corey told the truth. <laughs> we go on to ask Corey. You didn't want to answer the real question. Did you asked. ever say you would pimp out your daughter? He answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse in front of your daughter? He answered no. 
Have you ever touched your daughter for your own sexual gratification? He answered no. Results came back all the same to those three questions, and it came back that Corey told the truth. <laughs> Have you ever prostituted your own daughter? Same thing, we broke your okay. test up in two parts. Have you ever prostituted your own daughter? You answered no. Have you ever posted pictures of your daughter on any escort or child porn site? You answered no. Do you have knowledge of anyone who has posted pictures of your daughter on any escort or child porn site? You answered no. Are you making up the story that Corey called CPS on you for posting your daughter's picture on an escort site? You answered no. The results came back that they came back all the same, and it came back that you told the truth. <laughs> have you ever done drugs in front of your daughter? And you answered yes. You admit to doing cocaine and marijuana in front of her. Oh, wow. okay. What the? Why you didn't call like call me so I can get her so you can what? do all that and on your own son? Cause you was out there pipping. I'm over this. I'm gonna ask you. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we got one more question. Have you ever prostituted in Chill front? Out. Have you ever prostituted in front of your daughter? You answered no. And the result for that is you did not tell the truth. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, I'm mad. I'm not mad at you guys. I'm mad at the result. But I'm trying to figure out. I never, I never, never. Can we ask Steve that? I, can he can ask me whatever, but I'm not going back in there. You sure you don't want to? You want me to go out there? Yeah. It's cold out, though, yeah? <laughs> I want to know. First of all, I, I want to say thank you for coming back. Of course, because I want to clear my name. I never, I want to know, do y'all mean, have she ever seen me in heels? Have she ever seen me in lingerie? If I'm coming in at 6 o'clock in the morning and I'm ready to get her ready for school, do that what y'all mean? Because she never, ever seen me prostitute. Okay. And listen. that's on my grandma. Okay. Listen. Never. Listen. You did a lot of, a lot of things you passed on this test. You passed a lot of them. No, okay? I didn't pass the listen, fact, have listen. I ever prostituted in front of my daughter? No, you failed that. That's what I'm mad okay. about. And you confessed to doing drugs in front of your daughter. Steve. Okay, so even the drugs from, thing, from so now, stay on, listen to me, listen to me. Remember what I said earlier about, you know, I hope you get out of still doing what you're doing because it leads to bad things, right? Yeah. Okay. And look. So yeah. I came yeah, here and he's gonna use this against me and he ain't I'm never seen my daughter in three years. You. I don't think he's gonna call CPS no, on I'm me. Not. Steve, I didn't took drug tests from CPS. I did all that. What I no, decide to do, listen. I'm grown. I'm 24 years old. If I decide to sell ass, that's on me. He shouldn't get mad. You shouldn't get mad. The audience shouldn't get mad. What did I say? That's my choice. Okay. Well, what I'm Shut saying. Stop talking to me. Okay. Shut Talking to me. Shut up talking okay, to me. Stop. Shut up. You brought me. Goofy. Okay. You lucky. Okay. You brought me here. You have to live your life as a, as a man, as a father, so that your daughter doesn't go down this way, where a woman ends up being exploited. I that they that. end up making bad decisions. I don't think she's a terrible woman, but she is making mistakes. And if those mistakes continue. You get in the danger of both of you losing your daughter. I understand that. I, I hope you the best. I hope you're a good father. I hope you'll be involved in your life. And I hope that of getting on her ass and trying to make life hard for her, that you help her, that she can be a good mother to your daughter also. Okay. Listen, you got to go home and be a mom. Like, I have to be a dad. You know, you just try to live your life the best you can. And you make decisions so you don't get put in a jackpot so you don't like CPS showing up at your door so they don't take your kid away. That's all you got to do in life. Try to be a good mom. Come on. It's going to be all right. Okay? All right. Come on. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.